Okay, getting through this gym, it's pretty much a piece of cake, really. Pretty straightforward gym. Um, if you hear any lawnmower noises in the background, I'm sorry about that. My dad decided to go start cutting grass, even though I'm supposed to be cutting it. And he kind of just started doing that, like, right now. So... I don't know, you might hear some random noises on and off. I don't know how sensitive my camcorder is, but it was able to pick up my neighbors from way up the hill, so... I don't know. I can see it now, my dad coming in saying, Quit filming! Go! Cut the stupid grass! Because that is my job. And I'm avoiding it. Anyway, um, basically I know you love to listen to my rant on cutting grass, but if you followed what I did, it will get you through the gym. Um, make sure you save your game. And then we can take on the gym leaders, Tate and Liza, two gym leaders, thus making this a double gym battle. Of course I can beat it. Let's do this. In my opinion, Tate and Liza are probably the toughest gym leaders in this game. Starting off with level 41 Zatu and Cladle. Zatu's Psychic Flying, Cladle's Ground Psychic. Zatu has the moves Psychic, Sunny Day, Confuse, Ray, Calm Mind, and Cladle has the moves Earthquake, Psychic, Ancient Power, and Light Screen. They are a very tough combo to take down. The sunny day is irritating for setting up something later in this battle. Thankfully, Earthquake does not hit my Skarmory. Hmm. See, they are very high leveled as you can see, and they hit very strong. It's a really difficult gym battle, and I guess they made them that high leveled because there's a lot of ocean around here, and you can go fight a lot of people before this battle. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 no. <sighs> that took a lot longer than it should have. Next up on the roster, most likely Soul Rock, level 42 Rock Psychic with the moves Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Psychic, and Flamethrower. Very evil set of moves. Um, I'm gonna try this tactic. That didn't do as much as I thought it would do. Have to be careful here in making my decision. Okay, that is unfair. That is just not fair. That was a switch in. How was I supposed to know? That's also not fair. This is just a not fair battle. That didn't do a lot. No, I'm doomed, people. I am doomed. I'm 100% doomed.
I don't know what I'm gonna do here because I'm pretty much just doomed as they come. This might help. <laughs> Here comes the solar beam charge. Light's pretty useful. That would be a nice addition. I can sense... Uh, I'm psychic. I sense a solar beam charge here. Oh, did I call it or what? Well, this will be much better. The fact that I no longer have, um... Hmm, this can be an issue. This is how we're gonna handle this situation. I am just so awesome. I predicted that sore beam and I took it down accordingly. Okay. I thought I was doomed, but I think there's revived hope. I don't see myself losing now. Like I said, this in my opinion is definitely the toughest gym battle. This one has always given me struggle problems. I, I've never ever had a good time with this gym battle for some odd reason. I do not know why. Muddy Water, that's a cool move. If you're not, if you're using an HM slave and it has surf, then Swampert might want to consider Muddy Water, but it's less accurate, but it can sometimes lower your opponent's accuracy. Good move. Woohoo! Get the mine badge for that. Get TMO4 Calm Mine. You could use Dive Outside of Battle. Gym leaders will register you. Amen, we are out of here. This is just a gym battle I like to forget. I've never liked it.